praises to the Most High God, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Now we're on top of the mountain. This is Mother Cabrini's right here, and there's that graven image, an idol. I've come, people come up here by the tens of thousands, they worship this idol. It's a disgrace, and the Most High is about to destroy this world because of idol worshiping. Now I'm bringing you the holy book. Before we start, all praises to the Most High God. For all the Yahweh, Yahweh, You pray to Him in spirit, to the Heavenly Father, to His Holy Son, Yahweh Shai. And double honors to the apostles of GMS. I'm going to start back up on Exodus chapter, Exodus, the holy book of Exodus chapter 20, verse 1. And the Most High God spoke, and these were His words, I am the Lord your God. Who brought you out of Egypt you were where you were slaves worship no God but me that's verse 3 worship no God but me verse 4 do not make yourselves images or anything in heaven or on earth or in the water under the earth do not bow down to any idol or worship it because I am the Lord your God and I tolerate no rivals I bring punishment on those who hate me and on their descendants down to the third and fourth generation. You see that graven image right there? So I'm going to jump to the holy book of Deuteronomy. And I'm going to start with uh, the holy book of Deuteronomy 27 verse 11. The curses on disobedience. Disobedience that's behind me. Then Moses said to the people of Israel, After you have crossed the Jordan, the following tribes are to stand on Mount Gezerim when the blessings are pronounced on the people of the tribes Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Joseph, and Benjamin. And the following tribes will stand on Mount Ebal when the curses are pronounced. Reuben, Gad, Asher, Zebulun, Dan, and Naphtali. The Levites will speak these words in a loud voice. Verse 15, where God says, God's curse on anyone who makes an idol of stone, wood, or metal and secretly worships it. The Lord hates idolatry. And in the book of Deuteronomy, the book of Leviticus, you'll find all the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. And I'm just going to read a few scriptures here where he says, All the people will answer, so let it be true. Verse 16. Remember, this is the Holy Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 27, verse 16. God's curse on anyone who dishonors his father or mother. That's where you respect your father and your mother. No matter if they left you on a corner somewhere, you always honor your father and your mother. And the people will say, so let it be true. Verse 17. And God's curse on anyone who moves a neighbor's property line. And all the people will answer, so let it be true. Verse 18. God's curse on anyone who leads a blind man into the wrong direction. And that's what's happening right now with the churches. The false prophets, they're leading the people. They're leading the blind into a ditch. But you have real prophets out, that are out here on the four corners of the earth. Who are, who are making you walk to the right hand side, which is this holy book. And all the people will answer, so let it be true. Verse 19, God's curse on anyone who deprives foreigners, orphans, and widows of their rights. And all the people will answer, so let it be true. And those foreigners and orphans and then widows are the tribes who are lost into the world, who got absorbed by the nations. We're supposed to bring them back and give them the holy name of the Most High, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai. 
verse 20, God's curse on anyone who disgraces his father by having intercourse with any of his father's wives, and all the people will say, so let it be true. God's curse on anyone who has sexual relationships with an animal, bestiality, and all the people will answer, so let it be true. Verse 22, and God's curse on anyone who has intercourse with their sister or half-sister, incest, and all the people of Israel will answer, so let it be true. And God's curse on anyone who has intercourse with his mother-in-law. And all the people will answer, so let it be true. Verse 24, and God's curse on anyone who secretly commits murder. Not to wickedness. And all the people will say, so let it be true. God's curse on anyone who attempts, who accepts money to murder. An innocent man an innocent person and all the people will answer so let it be true and God's curse on anyone who does not obey all the laws and the laws and commandments and the teachings of this holy book so let it be true and this book says do not worship idols do not bow down and you have tens of thousands of people that come up here and they bring flowers and they get on their knees and they pray to an idol made with man's hands. It's a disgrace. And that goes book into Isaiah, Jeremiah. There's so many scriptures I could bring out about this. There's one I want to look up. It's in Psalms. It's in the Holy Book of Psalms here. Let me find it here. Before we close out. Um, this is what God wants you to read every day is this holy book.